And I'm just going to say to you, you can relate whether you are a football person or not. You can relate to what Ron Rivera is going through. Now, you heard him off the top just really ranting a bit. He was unburdening himself. He's got a lot on his mind. I don't blame him. Team had a four game losing streak. They won a very ugly football game last night in Chicago. Uh, set the sport back. I would say set the sport back 60 years, but it's only 30 because the, the sport was set back 30 years last Thursday between Broncos and Colts. So Bears commanders just took it back another 30 for a combined 60 years. Some really ugly football. So they win next win this game. He breaks a four game losing streak. He's got to talk about Carson Wentz. He told the truth, but he had to apologize for telling the truth earlier. Because he said the problem with the team is quarterback. It is among other things. And then he had to walk that back. Then the report came out. Don Van Nata Jr. And Seth Wickersham came out with a report on ESPN talking about wait for it. Daniel Snyder being a terrible owner. Wait for it. Daniel Snyder. Uh, other owners want him to sell. Other owners don't like him. And Snyder's got dirt on them. So he's going to keep his team. Why do I bring that up? Because Ron Rivera can rant all he wants. And I like him. I do. I do like him. But Ron, let me tell you, is bigger than you. I feel like Robin Williams in Goodwill Hunting. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Say it. It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Ron. It's not your fault. You work for Dan Snyder. And I guess in a sense, it is your fault because you took the job. One of 32, I understand. There are only so many positions in the National Football League if you're a head coach. The money is good. Uh, the prestige, the profile, everything that comes with, uh, comes with being a head coach in the NFL is tremendous. However, there is a downside. There is a caveat. And when you work for the Washington Commanders, the truth is, once you walk through those doors, you're never the same again because you're working for that guy, Daniel Snyder. You're never the same again. And Burt Breer is going to be here uh, in a second. And, and Burt, Burt is probably going to remember some names that I've forgotten. Let me just say, Daniel Snyder has had a bad 21st century. He's old for the 21st century. Think about some of the coaches who have walked in there. Very good coaches who have walked through that facility and have coached that team. Borderline Hall of Fame coaches. Marty Schottenheimer, who should be in the Hall of Fame, is not. He was there for one and done. Marty Schottenheimer, great. Didn't work for Marty Schottenheimer in Washington. Mike Shanahan, borderline Hall of Fame guy. Two-time Super Bowl winner. Walked through there with his son, Kyle. With Sean McVay as well on the staff. It did not work for him. He's out. Ron Rivera, you had a nice career in Carolina. Got to the Super Bowl, 15 and 1. It ain't gonna work for you either. Why? Because you work for the most toxic, least competent owner in the NFL. It's not gonna work for you. It's not gonna work for the next guy. It's not gonna work 10 years from now as long as Daniel Snyder's there. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You can go ahead and rant. Go ahead. Go ahead, get it out. I understand. I understand. Oh, bro, you probably gonna get fired. I don't know. You probably get fired this year, next year. Uh, make sure, make sure those checks don't bounce. Snyder, I don't know. Make sure the checks don't bounce. That's all I can tell you. Hey, thanks for watching, brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.